So, um, I'm in love with Esther Lee, and this is my love story. Um, Esther Lee is a town in Nicaragua, which is twinned with Sheffield, um, and um, uh, this is a story of our love affair. So it all began when I was 19, and on my first solo adventure, I went to Nicaragua. So I fell in love with Nicaragua at first. It's a young country and it's got the wonderful hope of a developing country and it just felt like this amazing place with all these volcanoes to climb and lakes to swim in and, um, and virgin tropical forests to explore. But as with lots of young love, it doesn't always work out and I got mugged in the capital city, but that's another story. But essentially, Nicaragua cheated on me and I was heartbroken and hurt. So arriving in Esteli was like the beginning of a love affair that endures to this day. The purpose of my trip was to teach English at the university there um, and in a cultural exchange program with the University Society program. And it was like snuggling into the safety of your loved one's arms, a safe haven of security. It was there I got to know the people as well as the place. And it's difficult to get to know the people when there's a language barrier because although you see the place and the culture and their behaviours, you can't actually tell what they're talking about. You don't know whether you're interested in what in the same things that they are. And so that sort of need to know the culture is something that made, gave me this fascination with Esther Lee and, and let me fall in love with it. Um, so I embarked on my viejo para aprender español. So that, I think, I'm not very good yet, translates as my journey to learn Spanish. Um, but when I was in Esteli, I met some fascinating people. And there are people there working as hard as they can towards sustainable development. They're working in poor and rural communities with youth projects. And culture and art and music are a really important way of development there and towards development. So there's um, art projects and mural paints and walls there. And murals there are, it's a way of sort of peaceful protest. Every mural has a message and governments listen to messages that people have spent the time to paint a mural about. So all these people and the wonderful a few wonderful people that spoke English to me, I met, pull me in and have become lifelong friends and make the development between Sheffield and Esselie worth fighting for and worth strengthening. Students for Esselie sent me to fall in love and on my return as president, um, I created Esselie Week. There is also Sheffield Esselie Society this is a Sheffield-wide organisation and they're sending a delegation to Nicaragua of Sheffield community this year. They also support projects like those above. I've returned to my lover once since my first journey and after a three year absence I'm going back this summer. But in the meantime, to prove my love, tomorrow at 12.30 on the concourse I'm shaving my head for a microfinance charity there who provides small affordable loans for those trying to um, recover from natural disasters or start their own businesses. But Sheffield and Esther Lee, although told through my eyes and my vulnerabilities and my passions, there is a long distance love affair going on between Sheffield and Esther Lee. And our two cities and our two communities and the multicultural experiences that both sides of the Atlantic can gain are invaluable. And in this world of globalisation, no country or city or person stands alone and by working together to achieve sustainable development goals there is hope for every future and hope for every person in Sheffield to make a difference to someone from Esteli and every person in Esteli to make a difference to someone in Sheffield.